wanna to talk to you a little bit about SI joint dysfunction. It happens a lot in pregnant women. Later in the second and third trimester, you, the hormone relaxin flows through the body to soften up the ligaments, which is great to allow your pelvis to expand to let the baby pass through. It's not so great when it's allowing certain ligaments to overstretch and the bones to kind of slip a little bit in place. With SI joint dysfunction, your sacrum, this triangular bone at the bottom of your spine, at the back of your pelvis, gets a little out of place in relation to the back of the pelvis and those bones back there. It's a little uncomfortable. You'll know it because you'll feel a little bit of pain or discomfort in your backside slightly to one side. The good news is there's some stuff you can do when you're pregnant to relieve some of the pain, not necessarily to put it back in place completely though. We'll start with one pose that's gonna be great and very easy to do when you're pregnant. We're gonna do a little bridge pose. So if you can, lie on your back, please. And once on your back, you'll bend your knees, separate your feet about hip distance apart, and gently press into the feet and lift your pelvis up. Good, press into the arms as you do this, very lovely. So what this is doing is, is using the muscles in your backside to encourage the sacrum back in place. Should feel nice and comfortable, not too bad. Slowly come back down and come up, gently up to sitting. Very nice, rolling to one side is very important. Good job, Vicky. From here, we're gonna do a half moon pose variation, which will also allow a little compression on the sacrum, which should feel really nice. Vicky's gonna come onto all fours. This one's gonna be a little more complicated to talk through, but once you're there, it should feel really good. From here, we're gonna make a little kickstand so she can balance. Her left foot is gonna kick towards the side a little bit, towards me, that's it. And then she's gonna tuck her right toes under and reach them back. Very nice. From here, turn the heel, right heel down so it's on the floor, good. And bring your right hand onto your waist. From here, she's gonna bring her whole body to the side so her shoulders are stacked and her hips are stacking. It's kinda like a side plank. If she's feeling pretty good and balanced, she'll lift her right foot off the floor, good. From here, you're in a half moon, just a little closer to the floor. The top part of the pelvis is compressing the bottom part and thereby compressing the sacrum. And that compression should feel like a nice relief of the SI joint dysfunction. When she's ready to come down, she'll just put her foot down, slowly bring her hand down to the mat and bring both knees down. And a lovely little stretch is then take child's pose, letting her body relax. If your SI is feeling like it's being aggravated, please see your doctor right away. They can assist you in some different types of belts and whatnot to hold the sacrum in place and relieve some of the pain.